Okay. This is the latest acquisition. Uh, my latest piece of junk that I have gotten. This is an old 38 inch Murray, 11 horsepower, flathead riding mower. I've gotten the deck off already, which was just horribly, terribly rusted. And I'm getting ready to swap transmissions on it and start working on the transmission. There it is, you can see. condition for a mower that it's in and oh yeah yeah there's a headlight so that's what I got this is the other one that I've just gotten in nice and shiny clean and pretty um yeah this one I'm selling and I'm gonna sell that one after I fix it up and get this one to working possibly probably maybe anyway some stuff I've noticed all the tires on this poor thing are just flat and gone now also the front end I don't know if you can see it think you can. There's a lot of play in the front end and I happened to look down when I was moving it and I noticed that there are like several of the welds that are broken. So that one is going to have to be redone. I've got a snapper front end and I'm thinking that that will probably fit. I just have to uh, do a little welding and adjusting and tweaking on it. Trying to, trying to position this flashlight to where you can see it torquing. Anyway, I don't think you can, but it's terrible. So, I'm going to fix that. There's uh, a heater. It's like eh, 28 degrees here today. Um, no rain, though, so that's good. And there's my play toy that I've gotten finished. That's my Murray. And uh, the tires are finally holding air. Thank God, because I was getting tired of taking them on and taking them off. And putting them on and then running over stuff. That was great. Um, it's su running surprisingly good. And I'm about to tear something up on it to do something to it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But this is what I'm going to get squared away. I'm thinking on that little ugly nasty rusted Murray I'm thinking I am going to put this old 14 horsepower flathead opposing twin onto this. Uh, the 11 horsepower is good but you know if you got twin cylinders and more horsepower, why not go with it? That's my thought anyway. That is about all I've got going on inside the shop here. You'll have to see. This is where I do uh, a lot of my work. Uh, a lot of the tinkering and the welding and everything. And hang on a second. We'll go outside. And I'll get a shot from my outside shop. This is just another picture of what I've got. That's a coal truck going by. That's my compressor room and tool shed. And this is my front brush guard. This is the brush guard I'm going to put on my Murray. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, that's off of a 350 Ford F350, I believe, brush guard. That's a little LT11 that I've gotten. Runs great. Got it sold. That's 
It's an older Craftsman, 11 horsepower. I've gotten it finished up. It's my first complete paint job I ever did. And I uh, haven't got it sold yet, but it'll, it'll sell. That's a Cub Cadet I bought. I'm parting it out. Um, that's another Craftsman I've gotten. Um, I think I've got it sold. That's mine, of course. The one with the snow chain and the beat up body. Uh, this junk, 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 junk. Um, play toy. And then this is one I finished up on yesterday. Uh, I fixed the PTO and got it ready for winter. And that is about it. I'll have more going when I get it finished. Right now I gotta go take the transmissions out and then I got to uh, go ahead and get started cleaning one of them up, getting ready to lock it, weld it up, which I think I may take a video of uh, and do that as well. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Here we go. I put some light on the subject. Right here is where the weld is broken all the way across this. And I'm thinking, let me zoom in. I'm thinking that I am going to replace this whole piece. I'm going to try to hold this as steady as I can. So you can see exactly what it's doing. too bad. I've got a couple of extra complete units rather than this folded and welded steel. I've got some solid cast pieces that I can put in there and maybe fabricate some brackets off of the front. They'll be a little bit wider but that'll be fine. It shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it's going to be in the woods anyway. So who's going to care? That's it. Transmission. 